He lost to Governor Deval Patrick back in 2006, but he is ready to try again. Christy Myhos is running for governor in 2010. This time he's running as a Republican, and we're putting him on the hot seat like we always do. I said to Christy, what do you want me to ask you? And he said, ask me anything. So are you ready for this? Christy, so nice to have you here. It's a pleasure. It always is. Yes. Why would you do this again? I'm a son of Massachusetts, and I just can't sit back and stand to see what's happening to our state. People moving out, businesses moving out, uh, uh, the, this clown fest at the Turnpike Authority and up on Beacon Hill. A clown fest. Absolutely. Absolutely. When you lie and you're caught in it, it's, it becomes a, a clown fest. Uh, they're sitting with $570 million in, in cash investments right now at the Turnpike Authority. According to their own uh, audited uh, financial numbers, they made over $100 million last year, and they're treating th their customers like their, uh, like their servants. S sounds like you're running for governor, Christy. Count on it. Yeah, we are going to count on it. Listen, in 2006, you ran as an independent. All your life, you've been a Republican. You're coming back into the Republican Party. Yes. Why? Well, in 2006, it certainly wasn't my Republican Party. Uh, w one of the most senior elected people at the state level, at the national level in our party, uh, was the l paid lobbyist making a half a million dollars a year for uh, Hugo Chavez and, and the country of uh, Venezuela. You know, an avowed enemy of the United States who drove the price of oil from 55 bucks a barrel up to $147 a barrel. You want to name names? Um, I, you know, I'd rather not name the names, uh, it, but, but, you know, he's, a, he's our, our, our National Republican Committee man, uh, Ron Kaufman. Uh, Mitt Romney, as, Republican, uh, as chairman of the Republican Governors Association, was out uh, collecting uh, uh, contributions from big D contractors and their lobbyists and then funneling them back to T Kerry Healy's account. That isn't my type of Republican Party. We lost our way. But now you, you think we found it. Why should people vote for you, Christy? If, if, look, it, if they want the truth, and really, you cut your teeth on that big dig debacle back in 2001 and 2002. You're right. You're we one of the only that. people that, that believed in what we were saying. If, even though we would try to bring out a raft of information to everybody, uh, they got the truth from me. And uh, I'm a, a son of Massachusetts. I'm not going to be a drive-by governor uh, that's, that's looking at this at this office for a stepping t stone to something else. There's nothing else. How do you feel? I, I know you had a little um, bout with cancer. I'm, I'm cancer free on uh, you know Thank survivor or two two different Thank types of cancers. So I had a lot of surgery and uh, everybody stood by me and I, I feel like I'm the luckiest guy in the world. But you think after you have you go through something so emotional and so devastating like that, Christy, you want to take on the race for governor? Well, what, cancer? The, yeah, sure. The, the, cancer is, uh, I call it the gift of cancer, that, that it, it sort of settles you and, and you see everything in, in real terms and all. And there's nothing more important than home and the future, and my kids, just like there's nothing more important to you than your kids. You're right. And, and this, this uh, the state is losing so much because of the way they're running state government, and they're just sticking it to the, the taxpayer big time. I can't deal with that. Which is why he's running for governor. Christy Myhouse, thanks so much for dropping by. Thanks, I'm sure Maria. we're going to be seeing a lot of you. Of course, Joe Battenfeld is right behind you. He's, he's ready to go at you after this. Lurking in the shadows. Lurking in the shadows.